Okay, let's use an example to show how we can use Little's relationship uh, to learn more about our uh, financial process and, and how we're doing financially uh, and, and, and the flow time of the process. Here is an example that is from your textbook. We have the financial data on a company. The sales are $250 million a year. Cost of goods sold is 175.8 million. Account receivable is 27.9, and inventory is 50 million, 50.6. Here, the process is depicted uh, in terms of the cost of goods sold is the money invested in the in the company, and that becomes your average inventory. Then you have finished goods. Finished goods become sales. Now we have another process here, and that's the account receivable. The sales become accounts receivable and to be collected. So the uh, flow unit or the flow rate throughput of this process is, is sales or revenue. And the av average inventory is the average, the in, is the average amount of uh, account receivables that, that are being collected. So we have two processes the factory uh, process, uh, and then we have the account receivable process. If this is the cost of goods sold, is the throughput of the process, and this is the average inventory, then the flow time of the process, of the process, is a reference to the factory time. How long does it take for that dollar to go through the process? Here, the flow time becomes the account receivable time. How long does it take on average to collect on our account receivables? If we relate this to, uh, to a little relationship as I equals RT, then T equals I over R. In this case, the flow time T is the average inventory 50.6 million dollars divided by the throughput of the process is the cost of goods sold which is 175.8 million dollars um, which gives you a value of uh, approximately uh, 0.288 years. Now you can easily uh, convert that into days and becomes approximately 105 days. So what does that mean? What that means, on average, it takes a dollar, a dollar of investment, cost of goods sold. We hold on to that dollar on average of 105 days. So that's a very important number to know because the uh, longer you hang on or hold that dollar, uh, higher the cost is going to be. So from a process perspective and, and flow time that you want uh, to reduce that time, meaning the dollars go through the process faster, meaning your factory time is shorter and shorter. Let's relate that to the account receivable. Similarly, we have I equals RT, or T equals I over R. In this case, average inventory is our average account receivable, 27.9 million divided by uh, our throughput of the process for the account receivable process is $250 million. And that will give us approximately 0.112 years. And we can convert that into days. And that is approximately 41 days. So what does that mean? That means on average it takes 45 day, 41 days to collect on our account receivable. Shorter that time is, better our cash flow. So we have two very important numbers, two very important flow times. We have the factory flow time, and we have the uh, account receivable flow time. Then the next question is, what is our total flow time? Is the factory flow time of 105 days plus the account receivable time of 41 days which gives us 
a total number of day, a total of 146 days. So from the time that we invest our money in the organization until that amount in the form of account receivable is collected and deposited in our account at the bank takes 146 days. Now, it would be a good question as how to improve that process. Recall that, that this, is, this is our cash flow. Shorter and shorter this time is. Faster and faster or better and better is our cash flow. So this is a good application of uh, uh, using the uh, Little's relationship uh, to analyze our financial uh, situation. That leaves one more exercise, and that is, in that case, what is inventory terms? There's one over T, and I'll leave that to you to complete.